This is an average field, and for most of this land's life, it has held no significance to those that drove by. This area's only validity came from being located just north of the largest city in South Dakota, Sioux Falls. Although there are still remnants that this area was once located in the middle of nowhere, it's now a desirable destination for many across the country. Four colossal figures make up the Sanford Sports Complex, and it's these giants that house unique resources for athletes and active lifestyles. At 85,000 square feet with 62,000 square feet of turf, the Sanford Fieldhouse was the first of the four to be built. And according to the director of Power Sports Performance Program, Scott Hettenbach, it's also the most inclusive. In here we house the Power uh, Sports Performance Program along with our sport academies for football and baseball. Uh, we've got a big presence with DASK soccer, hundreds and hundreds of kids that come through here, all different age levels. Uh, we've got a full physical therapy clinic in here, so we see clients from eight to 80. They don't have to be athletes. Anyone can come out here for their physical therapy. We've got our runner's clinic out here. Biomechanists are here, so we can do running analysis on, on triathletes, on runners at all different levels. And then our sports science institute is out here also. So concussion research, our environmental chamber, VO2 max testing, so really where the sports science meets sports performance all under one roof. The Sanford Field House organizes its own events and it serves as a ribbon that ties each complex together. We co-program with the other buildings on the site, so whether that be the Shields Iceplex, uh, Match Point Tennis, the Pentagon, uh, and with our academies that are here. So we have our football and, and uh, baseball academies that are housed in the field house. Uh, at the Pentagon we've got our volleyball and basketball academies. So we'll co-program with different programs during the course of the year uh, where maybe they'll do their skill sessions uh, with those academies and then come over and do uh, some strength and conditioning work with us or maybe a nutrition seminar and so we tie all those pieces together. The field house proves proximity really does make a difference from physical therapy and nutrition to strength and conditioning to specialized training you can schedule it all with just one appointment. We can do that all in one setting and the convenience of that and also the interaction of the staff no client no athlete falls through the cracks because of that because we interact and talk about that every day. Across the street stands an even larger facility at 160,000 square feet the Sanford Pentagon not only seats 3100 hundred sports fans showcasing nine courts, but it takes you back in time as soon as you walk through the door. This whole project, uh, the Sanford Sports Complex, the Sanford Pentagon, was the vision of our CEO, Kelby Krabenhoff, and he spent months researching small town gymnasiums. I mean, driving out to the middle of nowhere to, uh, you know, kick open the, the lock doors and pull the tarp off so they could see the floors in these old gymnasiums, really trying to get a feel for um, how to recreate that small town South Dakota 1960s atmosphere. This state-of-the-art facility is home to the Sky Force, an NBA development league, but Jesse Smith, an executive director and legal counsel at the Sanford Pentagon, says it's also recognized for hosting a diverse lineup of events. We've hosted a lot of events, um, some Division I basketball, some Division II basketball. Uh, we're home to the, the Sioux Falls Sky Force, and uh, we've done some RFA mixed martial arts fights. Uh, it's very versatile. Um, it hosts uh, a lot of youth basketball, a lot of youth volleyball, and we've tried to do some concerts and, and try to keep the mix unique and, and interesting to, to our fans. The Sanford Pentagon attracts several visitors during the summer months with AU basketball tournaments, volleyball and basketball academy events, and an all-nations camp which introduces Native Americans from the upper Midwest reservations to the game of basketball. Popular schools like Wisconsin, Wichita State, and Florida Gulf Coast have flown in just to play on the throwback court. And Smith says it's the regional and national recognition that has been the most interesting part to witness. Division One coaches, uh, people in the basketball circles, they know who we are now. When we opened, uh, it was just a gym in a cornfield. And now that people have seen here, you know, they've been here, they've seen it, they've felt it. Uh, they know it's much more than that. They know it's, it's more special than that. And, and when we pick up the phone and, and we call Division One head coaches, they know who we are now. Um, ESPN, Midco, Fox, they all know who we are, so we've had some great, great partnerships with, uh, with television 
and uh, schools and, and organizations around the country. The other two facilities that make up the Sanford Sports Complex are privately owned, and although they're geared more towards specific sports, it's a place for active lifestyles to flourish and athletes to get even more in touch with their coordination. The Shields Iceplex is a three-sheet ice facility used for a variety of activities. Hockey camps take place every week in June, and open skate sessions are available year-round. If you're interested in taking lessons, joining leagues, or even hitting the ice for a weekend, this center will serve as home base. The Last Giant is the youngest of the four, but provides an indoor recreational area for what some call the sport of a lifetime. The Huther Family Match Point is a six-court tennis facility with junior tennis and adult programming. If you're wanting to get a quick match in and don't want to commit to a league, you can rent a court by setting up an appointment. And if you don't have a partner available, you can rent out their advanced ball machines that have unique programming that can emulate different game scenarios. There's also a new addition in time for summer, a family fun court that aims to get parents and children involved in skill building drills as early as possible. The Sanford Sports Complex as a whole is aimed at getting youth active, engaging them, getting them to play a sport, and whether it's football or basketball or soccer, uh, it doesn't matter to us. We want to be able to serve the youth of Sioux Falls and, and be a community asset so that we hope that you know someday kids are riding their bikes out on the bike pass and pick, pick a sport, any sport, um, we can, we can accommodate you out here. Just three years ago, this area wasn't much to look at, but it's the hope that the Sanford Sports Complex continues to create excitement as a health and wellness land that grows with the individuals that it helps develop. Now it's becoming the sports campus, uh, and literally every evening when you come here, there are hundreds, sometimes thousands of people out here for different events. So it's turning into this entire campus, uh, and every year there's more and more growth. So I think this whole area will kind of be a, a Disneyland of, of sports performance uh, as we look back three, five, ten years from now.